It's a pleasure to have you at Bernheim. Our mission is simple. It's to connect people with nature. Welcome to the 2013 Children at Play Conference. As you go through this conference, I hope you see that ecological stewardship is part of raising kids well. This is not our initiative. This is your initiative. Many of you are already champions for play, especially free play. We hope to build a way for you all to connect and move your efforts forward. When we're thinking about designing children's spaces and activities, it's good to go back in your mind to your own experience as a child. Quick raise of hands, how many people here were children? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right, we can do this. There's a bunch of ideas, a mobile truck where we could drop a whole bunch of stuff and kids could just start to play with it. We are hoping to get kids outside, uh, away from the screen and connecting with the natural world and having free time to structure their own time and see what they want to do and how they want to play. And maybe it's more the way that we remember as children, you know, a few generations ago, of being free-range kids, being outside. And, the world. We thought it was a TP. I think they're pretty cool. Children need to be able to access it and assess it. Think, okay, can I climb this? Can I balance on this? Can I lift this? It makes them stronger and challenge themselves and you know, take it to the next level. We live in a world where people want the science. They want the research. We've got it. How often does the brain experience novelty in outdoor play? That's the nature of nature, is that it's always changing and, and there's always something else to absorb. Play is the way to incorporate more sensory input. If you know that sensory input being at this level is what creates and generates unforgettable learning, then why would you do anything else? All of a sudden it started to rain, um, quietly at first, and then with this like epic biblical like deluge quality. Personally, I love playing out in the rain. I think that there's no reason why rain should make us go indoors. They were saying in the Scandinavian countries that there's no bad weather, just bad clothing. In 1962, Norwegian government came out with preschool regulations that said that children should never be indoors for more than two hours a day. But I'm always a little sad when it rains at first with this kind of public event because so many people go home. But today that didn't happen. Today a huge number of people stayed and played and got soaking wet and did not care. And that's the sign of success. What was your favorite thing that you did today? Walk through the rain. Yeah. Really? Yeah. This is so fun! To advocate for play is not the same as needing to understand it all. No child has ever thought it's time for some gross motor development. <laughs> it's important to remember that we're not just educating a head, you know, the whole human being in front of us. And hearts, minds, and souls, and hands, and all those pieces that make us human are not separate from what surrounds us. We just want to end up with the best play experiences for our community that we can create as a team of creative people. We could, we could all jump, like... <laughs> 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 <laughs>